2017 season is now over for my beloved Cincinnati Reds, and once again the team finished at the very bottom of the National League Central with a record of 68 and 94. So now that another terrible season is in the books, was there anything good that happened this year and will 2018 be a year for Reds fans to look forward to? I think so, and here's why. Let's start with some of the highlights of the 2017 season. Scott Shelburne definitely emerged as one of the team's best power hitters, and Tucker Barnhart continued to prove that he has what it takes to be a solid starting pitcher in Major League Baseball while developing his skills at the plate as well. Adam Duvall is an RBI sheen almost hitting the 100 RBI mark, and Zach Cozart made the All-Star team for the first time in his career after having probably the best season of his years as a Red Leg. Bronson Arroyo, a fan favorite here in the Queen City, made his way back to the Red Legs and retired as a member of the team after having a few solid starts to start the year. Also, Scooter Jeanette proved to be the steal of the offseason by providing a fantastic boost to the offense, and he also gave Reds fans a very memorable performance by hitting four home runs in one game. We also can't forget about Joey Votto. The guy put up MVP-worthy numbers this year, and he continues to build a resume worthy of being called by Cooperstown in the future. He has also proven to be one of the best Reds hitters, if not the very best Reds hitter in franchise history. There are also some big-time lows this year, Mainly the pitching. It proved to be the Achilles heel of this team for 2017. Seemingly player after player had an appearance in the rotation as the team tried to figure out what arms to use going forward. Some guys like Tim Adelman and Asher Wojciechowski's appearances on the mound had you scratching your head and wondering what the Reds were doing. The bullpen wasn't much better as Rysel Iglesias proved to be the only reliable option coming out to close the game. Young arms like Amir Garrett and Robert Stevenson did struggle, but they also showed signs of promise and gave Reds fans a glimmer of hope that the starting pitching may be in capable hands going forward. Other big downsides of the 2017 year for the Reds included injuries to multiple players such as Homer Bailey and another injury cut short season by Devin Mezzarocco. Also, promising pitcher Anthony DiScofani was not even seen this year by the Reds as he was out with an injury all year long. So, should Red fans look forward to 2018? Absolutely. As a Reds fan who has been waiting out this rebuild, I feel like 2018 is the year that the franchise definitely needs to show its fans that what it's doing is working and that they do have a plan to bring a World Series championship to the Queen City in the future. I feel like we should have a more solid picture of what the Reds pitching rotation should be going forward as guys like Sal Romano and Luis Castillo should become permanent fixtures in the Reds pitching rotation. We might also expect bigger things from young outfielders like Philip Irvin and Jesse Winker, and we may even see a call from the young Red Studs in the minor league system, such as Nick Senzel. So basically, 2018 is the year that we need to see these young Reds talented players that we hear so much about finally make their way up to the big league roster and show to the world, and most importantly, Reds country, that they have what it takes to bring a world championship to Cincinnati once again. They may even shock the world and do it next year. Probably not, but it would definitely be a very, very cool surprise if the Reds were able to bring home the World Series Championship in 2018. So for that, that is my 2017 Red Legs recap. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to give this video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, and check out my website, cincyfanzone.blogspot.com. Links to both of those are in the description below. And thanks for watching, and go Red Legs.